Hi guys, my name is Clint, and today I'm going to show you how to create a website using WordPress. This is the website that we're going to create today, and the reason why I like using WordPress is because it's very easy to use. It's the most popular website builder online today, and you can usually get a WordPress website to rank on the first page of Google, and sometimes number one. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the iPage link below. And the reason why I like to use iPage is because it's the cheapest host that I found. It's the most reliable host that I've ever used before. And it already comes with WordPress, so we don't have to worry about installing any other software on our computer. So go ahead and click on Sign Up Now. And then we're going to select a domain name. So I'm going to go ahead and choose clintsnewwebsite.com. and click continue. Okay, and it looks like clintsnewwebsite.com is available, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to enter my contact information. I'm going to choose the 12-month plan because this is just an example website. I'm going to go ahead and keep my domain privacy because I'd like to keep my website secure. And I'm going to uncheck all the website essentials because, again, this is just an example website. You can go ahead and choose whatever you'd like and I'm going to go ahead and continue to check out. I'm going to pause the video while I do this and you can go ahead and do the same. Okay, and I have successfully signed up with iPage and so after I get my confirmation email I'm going to come back to the login and I'm going to enter my username and password and login. This is the iPage control panel and once you log into your iPage control panel, the first thing that you want to do is click on the file manager folder under the website category. And you want to make sure the only two things in your file manager is CGI bin and stats. If you have any .html files, for example home.html or index.html, check it and delete it. Since I don't have any other files in my file manager, I'm going to go ahead and go back home to my control panel. And I'm going to install WordPress. And to install WordPress, click on the Simple Scripts icon under Website. Find Blogs and click on the WordPress icon under Blogs. Click on Install a Brand New Version. Okay, and in step one, leave everything as is. In step two, you can go ahead and click on the advanced options to change your WordPress uh, username and password. I'm going to leave mine the same because, again, this is just an example website. I'm going to click on I have read the terms and conditions and click on complete. And it's installing your WordPress website. Okay, and once your WordPress website has finished installation, go to your email for a Simple Scripts confirmation. It will have your username and password. You can also find them here on this page. And click on the second link. We're going to find our WordPress administration panel um, at our domain name backslash wp-admin. So click on that second link. And this is our WordPress login panel. So enter your username and password and click on login and it's probably a good idea to bookmark this page okay and this is the WordPress dashboard for our website and I'm gonna show you very quickly how to change the heading on your website how to change the appearance on your website and how to add a post on your website so the very first thing we're gonna do is click on settings at the very bottom of the left hand sidebar And for site title, I'm going to put Clint's new website. And under tagline, I'm going to put learn how to create a website in 10 minutes. And then I'm going to scroll down and click on save changes. 
Okay, and next I'm going to go ahead and click on Appearance in the left-hand sidebar. And I'm going to click on Install Themes. And then since I already know which theme I'm going to use, I'm going to type that into the search. But you can go ahead and just click on Search and it'll bring up all the WordPress templates that you can use. Okay, I'm going to click on Install and install now and I'm gonna click on activate and this will activate the new theme that I chose okay and then I'm gonna go up to posts and there is already a default post here I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit under the hello world post and I've already got some placeholder text that I've written and I'm going to go ahead and replace the default text with my placeholder text. And I'm going to change the post heading to Clint's, Welcome to Clint's New Website. And I'm going to go ahead and click Update. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on the Clint's New Website link at the top of my page and this is the website that I've just created. Next I'm going to show you how to add and edit pages and I'm going to show you how to edit your sidebar. So click on the dashboard button at the top of your screen. Okay and in our dashboard we're going to click on pages in the left hand sidebar and you're gonna find a sample page go ahead and click on edit and I'm gonna go ahead and make an about me page and I'm just gonna leave all the text the same and click update and then at the top of your screen click on add new next to edit page and I'm gonna make a contact page And I'm just going to use the text that we used earlier because this is just an example website. You can enter your contact information here and click on publish. Okay, now click on your appearance drop down arrow in the left hand sidebar and click on widgets underneath appearance. Okay, and here we can add things to our sidebar. So in my sidebar, I would like a search bar. I would like a categories bar. And I would like a pages bar. And next, I'm going to click on the Clint's new website link at the top so we can look at our website. And this is what we've done so far. We've just added an About Me page and a Contact page. And on our sidebar, we have a Search bar, a Pages bar, and a Categories bar. And the pages and categories will automatically fill in when you create more pages and more categories. Okay, and that's basically how you create a website. I'm going to show you guys one more thing before I end this video. If you go to Google and type in Free WordPress Themes, and click on search and click on images you will find all of the free WordPress themes that have been submitted to Google and there are over about 27 million different themes that you can choose from so I'm going to scroll down and find a theme that looks appealing to me okay this one looks good and usually under each theme you'll be able to find a download button so we're gonna find the theme that I like okay this is it I'm gonna click on download and I'm gonna save my zip file to the desktop okay and now I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and once you save your theme as a zip file to your desktop click on appearance
click on install themes and click on upload because we're going to be uploading our theme from our desktop. Click on browse. Find your theme as a zip file and open it. And click on install now. Okay, and once your theme has finished installing, click on activate to activate your theme. Okay, and then click on your website link at the top of the page. I'm going to click on Clint's new website. And this is my new website. As you can see, uh, the sidebars stay the same. It's got the search bar, the pages bar, the categories bar. It's got an about me page and a contact me page. And the posts stay the same. So pretty much everything stays the same except for your appearance when you upload new themes. And that is it. Thanks guys for watching my video and good luck with your new website.